hi everyone in today's uh, video on uh, the nautical mathematics uh, we will understand how to calculate the volume of tank if allege is given to you so we will understand what is allege how does it impact calculation of the volume of the tank and then how can we use that to calculate the mass of any liquid to be loaded in the tank so the question is that there is a storage tank 8.2 meters long 6.4 meters wide and 5.5 meters deep that is the height of the tank and this is being filled with oil the density of the oil is 0.85 ton per metric cube how many tons of oil is in the tank when the allege is 3 meters and you have to calculate the tons of oil which means the mass of the oil to be loaded in up to two decimal places all right sometimes questions include such requirement two decimal places so let's start with drawing a diagram so we've got a tank here and i always try to use drawings to conceptually understand what's going on in the question which helps me to understand the problem so this here is a three-dimensional diagram you can th say so so length equals 8.2 meters the width of the tank or the breadth of the tank is 6.4 meters units are very important so make sure that you keep writing the units and the total depth of the tank or the height of the tank you can say is 5.5 meters now you have to fill oil in this tank up to a ledge of 3 meters what is a ledge a ledge is the unoccupied space in the tank when i say unoccupied space that means the unoccupied height of the tank because when you start filling the tank you cannot control how the liquid will flow up to a length or breadth it will cover the entire length of the tank and the entire width or the breadth of the tank the only thing you can control is the height up to which the liquid is loaded so three meters is unoccupied it's empty three meters of height you are only filling the remaining height which is three 5.5 meters minus 3 meters which is here so total height is 5.5 meters and the empty height is 3 meters so the remaining height is 2.5 meters that is up to which you are filling the oil so that means this is the available volume to you so the available volume is of course the entire length the entire breadth but only the height up to 2.5 meters so volume of the tank if you think about it volume of the tank is normally calculated by multiplying length by breadth by height or depth of the tank each of which is in meters in this case now here the length available to us is the full length 8.2 meters the breadth available to us is 6.4 meters and the height available to us is of course 2.5 meters all right this is the volume of the tank available to us for loading now if you want to calculate the mass how do we go about doing that so remember density of a liquid equals its mass divided by the volume all right so this is volume of the not the tank i should not have written volume of the tank this is the volume of the oil or i could have written volume of tank available for us to load the oil that was what would have been the correct way of saying it but let's call it the volume of oil all right or you can say volume of tank available for loading it's the same thing so here density equals mass by volume is the density of the oil given to us yes it is it is 0.85 ton per metric cube so we will write here 0.85 ton per metric cube or divided by metric cube then mass is what we have to calculate so this is the unknown and the volume is the same as this year so we will multiply 8.2 by 6.4 by 2.5 each of which is of course in meters so if i want to find out mass i will take all these values to the other side of the equal to sign and then mass will be equal to 0 0.85 ton per metric cube or ton divided by metric cube multiplied by 8.2 meters 6.4 meters and 2.5 meters all multiplying with each other the answer of which is 111.52 tons 
now remember the unit of mass here is tons and of course because when you multiply volume by density so in this case remember you are multiplying volume by density you are multiplying meter cube by tons per meter cube so meter cube cancels out meter cube and the only remaining unit is tons so this is the unit of the mass all right and of course these three values are in the denominator they will go to the other side of the equal to sign and they will be multiplied to the density to find the total mass of the oil remember this is the mass of the oil contained in the tank or loaded in the tank when we have to leave an alleage of 3 meters. So I hope this video was useful. I will see you soon with my next video.